Welcome back to Coastal Living. Please welcome our next guest, Trent Hoffman with Bay Area Landscape. You're going to tell us about container gardening. Container gardening. Right. I was on here a few weeks ago, yep. and we are talking about planting in our garden. Mm -hmm. So why do you think it's good to plant in containers? Can you give me so a reason? So when I buy a new house, I can take my plants with me. That's number one. <laughs> right. Those are my yeah. plants. Right. Jocelyn? Uh -huh. uh, man, you'll have to just inform us. I don't want to say the wrong thing because oh, okay. I'm new to well, this. Really no, <laughs> there's really no wrong answers. But for uh, container gardening is really, really good because you can spruce up your patio. That's right, uh, of course. Your, your deck. You can actually put them in your f uh, flower beds, but they're also mobile. So okay. now it's getting cold, mm -hmm. right? So once you have your uh, plants in pots, they're mobile and you can move them in and out of doors right. and in and out of the sunlight and things such as that. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yes, okay, which is what we do every time it rains. We kind of move them out, let them get mm -hmm. a little rain, pull them back in under the patio. So what are we working on today? Okay, so we had, for TV, we had to go ahead and uh, get it ready. fast forward a little bit. Sure. So we're gonna talk about a little bit what we did to get it ready, okay? So you okay. wanna make sure that you have a pot that has a hole in it, okay? Yes, yeah, so Must have a drain hole. Hmm? Drives me nuts how people sell pots <laughs> that they don't have drain holes in them, they have to drain, Guilty. okay? That's number one, okay. all right? Number two, uh, you're gonna put in the potting mix. So we've already mm -hmm. put in the potting mix. We have a medium-sized pot and a small pot uh, Pretty. that we're gonna show some examples on. And, uh, and number three, then we're gonna start the planting. Okay, okay let's so do it. you girls are gonna plant. Yay, so go so ahead excited. and get down with your, uh, with your pots okay. there. Okay. Get a little dirty here. Mm -hmm. we got the gloves on. Okay. Okay. So can we remove them or should Yes. They okay. So what we're gonna show here, there's different types, uh, different ways you can plant pots. You can just do a single plant in the middle, right? Mm -hmm. Like a flax lily, uh, Esperanza, something like that. But what we're gonna do here with these ladies is we're gonna do a little color bowl. Okay, okay. so Clarissa is gonna do what we call in the industry, it's called a thriller, which is the tall plant in the back. Then we're going to go uh, filler, <laughs> which is in the bottom. And then we do spiller, which is, yes. comes over the deal. So it's called okay. thriller, filler, spiller. spiller. Okay. All right. So Clarissa, we have your thriller. Uh, thriller. Yep. yep. Okay. So we're going to use the Gerber daisies, which are these right here. They're pretty good. All right. Okay. Beautiful. Okay. And those are going to be our filler. So okay. you go ahead and take it out of the pot. All right. Dig yourself a little hole. Now and can then I get be it. too rough? Oh, yeah, you got it. Easy. There you okay. go. All okay, right. Jocelyn. All, All right. right. Now you're just going to plant some annuals for us. So we're okay. just going to have a nice winter annual pot. All right. So let's start with the snapdragons in the back because they are the tallest. Okay. okay. So go ahead and pull a couple out of there. Okay. Okay. So in this case, I'll have to kind of squeeze the bottom. Squeeze right? the bottom and like that. There you go. Here we go. Just pull like you did with chat earlier. Oh, perfect. Awesome. Awesome. All right. Good. All right. Okay, so okay. what we're going to do is just going to dig a little hole like that. Okay. Pop it in there like there. There you go. Grab Great. us another one. Grab us another one. Give me two more. One over on this side and one over on this side. Okay. okay. All right. Full how are you doing over there, Carissa? I'm rocking and Look at this. over here. Look how pretty. Okay. We're going to get another filler there. How beautiful is that? Right. This orange Jocelyn's is gorgeous. rocking and rolling over here. Good job. Okay. There you go. Love just kind of push so them down. There we All go. Right. Okay, give me one more Snapdragon over All here. Right. How are you holding up? Okay, girl? now this, oh, you know, anything's I love uh, it. everything's game when you're planting flowers, okay? Uh -huh. uh, it's like when you're planting things in your yard, you want to make sure you got to look at the season, you got to yeah. look at light requirements, mm -hmm. uh, things such as that when you're picking your plants, make okay? Make sure they can be so, roommates. Exactly, okay. they can be roommates. That's actually a really good point because you want to make sure that the plants that you're planting together take the same amount of water, okay? Because okay. we're going to have to water these and we're going to have to feed these, okay? okay? So, Clarissa, we have our thriller. Mm -hmm. We have our filler. filler. Okay. Yeah. So, Jocelyn, let's put in one of those Gerber daisies in the front. Okay. All right. So now, for, for Clarissa, we're going to show something here. Go ahead and put that oh, in the front I of the snapdragon okay. there. Sure. All right. So, we can either, for her spiller, because when you're doing a spiller, you can have uh, something that trails over the side. Mm -hmm. This is some ivy, so you can have that. So that's where it gets the spiller. Mm -hmm. Or if you wanted just to put some flowers in the front, then we could do the pansies for a little bit more color. Okay. Okay, so Clarissa, you pick which one you want. Oh, so if you man. want the pansies, just kind of squeeze. There okay. you go. And then plant them in the front, fill the gap. All righty. already made some room for my okay, whole unit over good. here. Very good. Awesome. All right, and then, Let's do for you, Jocelyn, a little uh, alyssum. Okay. Okay, smell that. It's very, it smells very, you'll, very good. You'll oh listen real well. Isn't that pretty? That's yes. a real good sweet. So go ahead and pop those out and just put them in your gaps in the front. Okay. How are you doing over there? I'm doing 
doing good. Look I love that. these colors together. I mean, if I wanted to, I could still have a spill them, huh? You could, you could. But let's keep going with the purple. Please. Okay, you wanna keep going with the purple? All right, so what Clarissa has used, we have a cordy line in the back. Our uh, filler is Gerber daisies, and what she has in the front, which is our spiller, is our pansies. And Jocelyn's working with uh, snapdragons in the back. She has a Gerber daisy in the front, uh, in the front uh, right, and then on the front left she has uh, alyssum. Okay, and alyssum has a really, really good smell to it. Oh, it so does. it has a real good fragrance to it. So it smells really mm -hmm. good while you're on your either your porch or your patio. You got it there, Clarissa. I do. I think she looks pretty. Love and it. now the spiller too, you could even accent it like off the side if you wanted to. Absolutely, absolutely. I just love the way the ivy looks when it's and then over And then as you're planting them, after you plant them, if you say, well, I don't, you can just turn your pot if you want to, just to kind of see however you want to act, how oh, things yes, you want to accent like this. that. Yeah. All right, so like I said, today we have snapdragons, Gerber daisies, pansies, alyssum, those are all winter annuals, okay? Mm -hmm. So we want to make sure, like when we're planting in our garden, we want to make sure that we're looking at the season, mm -hmm. looking at the light requirements, okay? okay? And then we want to water regularly and then f feed regularly as well. Okay, I think I'm an over waterer. Ooh, is there such a thing? Yes, there is. I really do okay. that. And that's why we always that say we want to make sure there's a drain hole in the bottom. Drain hole, very important. If you don't, if you buy it without one, you can make one. Buy that's correct. If, okay. There's a lot of pods that are sold without them. And then the last thing, a lot of people say, well, do I need to put rocks in the bottom to help with drainage? Mm -hmm. Well, necessarily. That not necessarily if you have a drain hole, as long as it's draining, you're okay. Typically, you want the rocks just to make it heavy. I see. So the wind gotcha. doesn't blow it down or, you know, okay. things like that. Right. So, awesome. All right. So these all are right. nice little color bowls yeah, that the ladies have made. I Beautiful love it. Beautiful job, Clarissa. Yes. You too, girlfriend. High five, oh Trent. Thank goodness. you so much for teaching us how to pop plants we'll properly. You. You're watching Coastal Living. We'll be right back.